pregame.tv.com. Pregame.tv bringing you NFL action. But first, I am merely Steve Fezzik. I am here with golf expert Brady Cannon and a LVH Super Contest winner as well. He operates BK's Golf Service here. If ever there was someone who was uniquely qualified to discuss our local golf tournament here, the Shriners Children's Hospital Open, it is Brady Cannon. He's going to have a play for you. He's going to talk about the tournament. Brady, I turn it over to you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, the Shriners Hospital for Children's Open kicks off this week in Las Vegas. Uh, Thursday tee off. Ryan Moore, UNLV Rebel, your defending champ. Good year for the Rebels this year. Adam uh, Scott wins the, uh, the Masters. So uh, Ryan Moore comes in to defend his title. TPC Summerlin is the course, the venue uh, that's been there for a long time now. 1996, Tiger Woods made his professional debut at TPC Summerlin, won the event, and uh, the history has carried on a long time now at the course. Uh, it's been a good event for Las Vegas, and this year, the PGA Tour has created a little bit of a wraparound season, which created la uh, started last week at the Fries.com Open. And so now these events are actually uh, counting towards FedEx Cup points. So I still call it a little bit of a sizzy, uh, silly season, but it actually is for real now. And that way, we're going to get most of the top 20 golfers playing in this thing? Well, yes and no. We do have some certainly good names, uh, more big names that we've had in the past. Uh, Angel Cabrera is going to be here. Zach Johnson is actually the highest rated player in the world that will be here this week. Of course, Ryan Moore. A lot of very good local players. In fact, the biggest uh, contingent of local players that I've seen on a tour event so far this year. Scott Piercy, uh, Charlie Hoffman, Andres Gonzalez, Derek. Ernst, who won earlier this year at the Wells Fargo uh, back in uh, North Carolina. So a nice representation. Kevin Na, lot, nice representation of Las Vegas uh, flair for the event and should be a good one to watch. Former Rebels, and we, we got a Rebel pride going with our football team at 4-2 yeah. and, and everything, everything going well there. Let me ask you about the locals here. Um, how accessible is this course to the locals? When they, were, when they were living here, do they play it all the time, or is it somewhat difficult for even them to, you know, to, to find It is time. difficult. It's a private club, and uh, we actually have some access at BK's Golf Services on a limited basis. Uh, you have to cater to the members first, but they do allow a little bit of outside play. and uh, Off-season. We'll, yeah, exactly. Summer. Some off-peak stuff, you know, after 12 noon on the weekends type, type of thing when you're not getting in the way of that membership. Um, but we do have some access there, and beautiful course. The sister course is TPC Las Vegas, a public course that we book reservations for all the time. It is more of a desert style, where Summerlin is a bit more traditional, uh, a little bit more of an East Coast look with the trees and not as many forced carries over the desert and whatnot. Right, and I played the public one, and I really didn't, I didn't like it all that much. Um, but that might be because I don't like all the forest carries. Yeah, you might love Summerlin. <laughs> right. Um, I do like the, what, having been out there, the, the, I guess what they call it, the hill, where you can, you yes. can see five Great different um, um, holes from one spot or close right. within and, a minute of it. Right. And TPC Summerlin really was designed with the event venue in mind, you know, for the viewing. Uh, you know, Pete Dye really created that years ago with the stadium type setting around the 18th green and, the, and that type of thing. And, and Summerlin has followed suit and you're right that hill there you can kind of look over behind your shoulder and see 16 which is a great par 3 we rated it as actually one of the top 12 par 3s in Las Vegas in a report we did uh, with BK's golf uh, last year uh, then you can see 17 and then of course 18 coming home so it's a nice spot they've typically got like a beer garden going there and a hot dog stand good spot to hang out all day very good I know you have a pick at least one pick on the Shriners but before we get to that I got to ask you a question Angel Park I used to love the 18 hole putting green yes now it's nine holes yes who made that decision and what were they smoking boy I don't know but it disappointed me as well I mean that is such a fantastic thing 18 hole all grass putting course father and son you know uh, it was outings wonderful. and things and I would go out there on a double date with my wife and another guy and his wife and and we'd have a great time during the summertime you, you would play the strip at night. up there yes um, you know it's 85 degrees out at night and it's lighted of course um, 
we just actually did a tournament for a group of about 50 people that did an entire event on the nine hole putting course. But uh, only course in town that has something like that. And it's not just an artificial grass thing. I mean, they've got bunkers, real turf. It's a great time. I love it. I know it. there's like one hole that's like almost impossible to like get it within eight feet. You wind up, you know, it just slopes. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and then there, you, can put, you can put one or two in the water if you're not careful. Yep, yep, you're right. You know, it's <laughs> exactly. like, I mean, there's, it's, it's a great long course. Enough. I mean, it is, it is absolutely like a golf course, just shrunk to all but putting and they and they, and they taking out those nine holes I was thinking to myself I'm, I'm I, I just couldn't wait with a, like a little boy like when, when is he gonna be old enough to go out there and then I heard they took it away with half of it I'm like okay well I guess I'll take you him play out. it twice I it's, play it twice I'll take him out to the par three soon enough you know yep, can that one knock it in the water with dad on the um, the island green hole the cloud nine they call that yes the cloud yeah. nine. it's actually cloud 12 angel right? park you're right during the day they open up 12 holes at night they back it off a little bit oh. because I think there's three holes that aren't lighted I see okay um, but angel Park Park is a wonderful facility. I mean, it's almost like an amusement park. You've yeah. got the lighted driving range, the putting course, the nine hole uh, par three course, two 18s. It's just a, and then you've got the bar and grill. They have live music there a couple times a week. Nice facility. Right. So if you get kicked out of TPC when you're not wearing the right suit and tie and everything, you can go over there right. and basically you know, sneak a little beer on the course <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the putting green have a, and have a good time. Let's get back to the task at hand. Um, you have some some things you like. Let's let's go ahead and isolate the one you like the best as far as matchups and you can certainly maybe talk about a couple others too. Okay, well, as far as to win the tournament, you know, I, I don't make a habit of trying to pick a tournament winner because, it, you know, out of a field of 150 guys, it's really, really tough to make any money doing that. But uh, a couple of guys I would look at, uh, Nick Watney, uh, another local Las Vegas, his worst finish in the last three tries at the Shiners is 10th. I guess he's probably a member. Uh, you know, I don't know if he is a member at Summerlin. I think he actually lives up near Rio Seco. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I know he plays all the courses here in town. He's had a great year. He's one of the top players in the world. I would expect him to do well this week. He's listed at 15 to 1. Uh, the young kid, 21-year-old uh, Japanese man, Hideki Matsuyama, really has taken the tour by storm. Uh, he was in the uh, President's Cup recently. He tied for third last week uh, at the Fries.com. He's listed at 20 to 1. Heck of a player. Player, big talent. Uh, Brendan DeJong, the South African, he finished second in 2012 at the Shriners. He's listed at 25 to 1. Uh, Kevin Na, a past winner here, tied for third last week as well. He's at 30 to 1. And then uh, one thing that's going to be key at TPC Summerlin are the long hitters. This is a birdie fest tournament. 22, 28, 32 under is going to win this event. Robert Garrigus is a guy that can do just that and hit it a long ways. He's at 30 to 1. A couple of locals, Charlie Hoffman, listed at 40 to 1. And then my sleeper, a new kid on the tour, kind of like your Jordan Spieth. It's a guy by the name of John Peterson. He's at 40 to 1. He just comes off of the Web.com tour, which is kind of the farm league. Okay, in his last five tries on Web.com, he's had five top five finishes. This is his first PGA Tour event. I'd expect him to make a big splash. Let me ask you, because we are in Las Vegas, are there any notable uh, party animal guys that come out to Vegas and they don't take this seriously and they just always seem to tank? You know, I looked at the field and John Daly's not in it. And typically he's been a big customer at the win all week long. And, uh, you know, he has a good time and goes out and plays the golf. I saw him there a couple years ago. Yep. I saw him on the course. My wife tried to talk to him and he kind of blew us up. <laughs> coming off. <laughs> he course. hasn't done too badly. I, I can't recall how many cuts he's made or missed. But, uh, you know, he's always fared pretty well. But I think uh, his main goal is having fun out here. Sure. And, long, and, and I'm sure a lot of these pros. Yeah. Long season, this kind of a reward, right? Sure. At, at the sure. end of the year. Yeah. Players. Now, the young guys like Peterson and, you know, Kevin Na, who's won here before, and some of these guys that kind of get a restart on their season. Na's coming off an injury. Uh, this is a good, spot, uh, good spot for them to kind of kickstart and roll into next year when we really play for keeps. Uh, but, yeah, I think some of the veterans come out here and relax a little bit and have fun. You mentioned the needle in the haystacks. You stay away from them. You did like Nick Watney um, overall, but you're, you've isolated a matchup with him against our local guy, Ryan Moore, perhaps, as being yeah. the best bet, right? You want to talk about that? Ryan Moore is uh, your defending champion at the Shriners Hospital for Children's Open, and uh, he's had a real nice year. But uh, I think Watney, you know, doing well here the last three or last five tries, 
pardon me, last three tries, he's finished no worse than 10th. I like the matchup with Watney. He's minus 125 against Ryan Moore at plus 105. So the odds makers are seeing the advantage as well. I agree with it, and I don't think it's a stiff price to lay. Very good. You want to, um, I, I really can't add very much in terms of, I, I would say that this might be the sort of thing when they're making the odds that they can say, well, everyone knows Ryan Moore is from Vegas, but maybe they don't know Nick Watney is as well. Is that well, possible? Watney is actually from Sacramento, but lives here lives, now. Right. Ryan Moore is from the Pacific Northwest, but went to UNLV. So he certainly has experience at TPC Summerlin. Both of these gentlemen know the course very well. But I like uh, Moore has never really done that well prior to his win last year. So I, I like the consistency of Watney. Yes, and I think the, the average person looking in would say, I know Ryan Moore knows this course as well, and they might not know that about Watney as well. Sure, I'm, and I'm he's going. the defending champ. I'm going to go ahead and bet him again. Right. I like, I like the edge with Let, Watney. Let's go ahead and make it official if we can. Okay, the Shriner. Please. Two. Go ahead. The Shriners Children's Hospital Open kicks off Thursday here at TPC Summerlin. My pick on a matchup is Nick Watney, lives here in Las Vegas, has a lot of history at this course, the last three times finishing no worse than 10th. I like Nick Watney in the matchup at minus 125 to best Ryan Moore at plus 105. Excellent, very good. And uh, what's your favorite golf course in town here? Shadow Creek. Shadow Creek. It's an easy answer. Uh, now, there are some fabulous golf courses here in town. Cascada is wonderful. Rio Seco, which you're familiar with, is great. Sure. TPC Las Vegas, which we talked about. Dragon Ridge, another private club. The Paiute, which is out in the northwest. The Wolf Course out there. I mean, there I can go on 10 or 12 deep with some What's my best? What's my courses. best deal? My best budget course? Well, you know, the Paiute that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Because it's and, and another one. Same principle as Prim Valley out at the state line. Prim Valley is about 45 minutes off the strip. The Paiute's about 35 minutes off the strip, but they both go for you know anywhere from 100 to 150 bucks because they are a little further out than everybody else. I always tell people if they were 20 minutes closer to town, they'd be charging over $200. Oh, no question. So about if, you, if you've both, got the yeah. rental car or if you can drive a little bit, um, they're fantastic golf courses. And the Prim one is actually, if you're on the strip, I think it's closer than yep. the Paiute because by the time you go through downtown, it it's, could an easier, be. it's an easier drive out. Well, it's certainly an easier drive Miles out Miles wise, it's not, but you're right. right. It, and I really like the Prim, although I, my personal favorite Vegas course is in Mesquite, that Wolf Creek. I oh, tell boy. you, that's like what through 200 foot drops and, and just it's like a roller coaster golf experience. I'm sure it's blatantly unfair. Could never have a, a big game tournament because you might not find your ball after smoking a great drive. But boy, is that a fun course. I always call it golf on steroids. Yes. I mean, it is overblown and overdone, but fantastic to look at and a great time for a few hours uh, up in Mesquite. Well, outstanding. We wish um, Brady luck with his golf pick and, and uh, extend an invitation. Everyone to go out and uh, catch out the golf golf action here, especially on Thursday and Friday, because we're going to all be watching football on Saturday and Sunday. When we come back, we're going to be breaking down NFL action. Cowboys, Eagles, stay with us, pregame.tv. Nice job.